And so by the time you're leaving, are you sure what you are going to do next? Are you sure you have a job or you have... You, you, there is certainly foundation for the future, but are mm. you sure of the next steps clearly? Yeah. So luckily during our time, our jobs were guaranteed. Yeah. So we never used to have to interview. Okay. And I think that's one of the gaps that I'm trying to fulfill in my other company called Beyond the Cetoscope because mm. we are trained, right? First of all, 844 is about... Uh, drilling and, 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 and learning things without really analyzing. That's why CBC, if mm-hmm. if given enough resources and time, mm-hmm. CBC is an excellent concept because mm-hmm. it, it takes you to the root cause. So why are you doing something? Yeah? Right. It was about cramming. And mm-hmm. I honestly... It's about the what. Yes. CBC is about the why. Yes. Yeah. So I would say I was... Um, and uh, um, maybe above our average student because I was a good crammer. Mm-hmm. So me, I was those type of people. If you move the exam by a day, I would have to read all of it. Yeah, <laughs> had, yeah, because you just want to cram and regurgitate. Mm. And so, got out new. Maybe I would still figuring out what to do because you have to do internship. Mm-hmm. And. Um, Internship, I did it at PCA Kikuyu Hospital. Right. That were the first interns what? to be taken by the hospital. Was PCA Kikuyu the Thogoto one? Yes, oh, Thogoto. Okay. The Thogoto. Yeah, so right. I went back to Alliance. Oh, okay. <laughs> Same area. That's Same area, how yeah. How interesting, how fit. Yes, yes. Yeah. So we yeah. had this uh, mission hospitals that would come and do interviews mm-hmm. and pick, um, people would apply. Mm-hmm. Because mission hospitals were, were, were seen to be more favorable in terms of the conditions mm-hmm. and in terms of the experience. Because you teach. I know internship is supposed to be another year of teaching. Mm. Um, there will be some institutions like, let's say, Kenyatta National Hospital, mm. where because the crowds are so big, like you have undergraduates, you have postgraduates, you have nurses, you have clinic officers, all rotating and seeing the same patient then the opportunity to learn as an intern was very little. And you would never go to theater anyway in KNH because mm. all these other people were offering those services. Mm-hmm. So most people would would fight for a slot in a mission hospital because mm. you'd be taught and you'd be taught um, with an attitude of getting to teach, mm. you know. Mm. There's um, teaching that is there to just harass you. Mm. So... Kikuyu had just joined the Kijabes, the Tenwex, the what? So this um, Chuck Christian mm. Health Association of Kenya mm. uh, hospitals would come and take interns. Mm-hmm. But the other thing is that they also gave an extra stipend of mm-hmm. four thousand. Mm. I think we're earning forty thousand, mm-hmm. and then they'd add four thousand. Like now we went to Kikuyu, mm. we're two of us, and we're given this three bedroom house mm. in like half an acre. Mm-hmm. Uh, fully furnished, of course, it had the deco of uh, people from central province. <laughs> but as long as you could sit on those <laughs> chairs, they would, it would work. Yeah. Why are you throwing stones? <laughs> uh, actually, it was <laughs> it was, uh, yeah, those sofa sets used to give me a headache every time I saw them. <laughs> so you have this fully furnished house. Mm. And then um, if you're on call, your meals are provided in the hospitals. Mm. Of course, it's hospital food. Mm. So you'd, I ended up not spending as much actually, because you don't have rent, yeah. you don't have electricity, yeah. you Your you can are... survive by eating that lunch sure. there. Um, so that's how now I got this. Um, I I met this doctor who was doing his orthopedics. Kikuyu is also known very well for orthopedics. Very, yeah. Very much, and he was an official in uh, Kenya Medical Association. Mm-hmm. And he told me, please, Dr. Mm. Ari, join the circle. Mm. So I started saving. Mm. And, and so there's a medic circle? Yes, mm. KMS circle. I'm still a member. Mm. Number 119. Mm-hmm. One of the few. I think now they've reached uh, two digit numbers. Mm. Um, so the reason why I'm bringing that up is because I gave myself an ultimatum mm. that I was going to get out of internship driving. I had oh, this wow. thing about driving mm. and I still love driving up to now. Mm. So in third year, mm. I got uh, driving classes paid for by my then boyfriend. Mm. 
and in fact i remember he took me to the best aa aa driving school at that time was good mm. yeah and mm. i was just so excited about learning how to drive because mm. i used to look at my classmates who'd come from nairobi and they came already knowing how to drive their parents cars mm. they ask guys which car are you driving mm. there's no car mm. um so uh commuting mm-hmm. from nairobi to kikuyu maybe to visit my people here you know you'd get uh you know into a very packed kenya bus service eh? mm. 102 mm. remember those days eh? they used to go all the way to kikuyu yeah and you know there's there's a, a lot of groping by the way that happens in mm. those packed buses eh? oh, yeah. yeah so i i used to hate the experience mm. And I swore to myself that I'd get out of internship with mm. my own car. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so that's how I started saving. Mm. So I had a target. Mm. Did you also have a target for what car? No, no. Mm. Mm. You just. So need, I never think that I far. Need be, <laughs> I, I need to be on wheels. I need to be on wheels, mm. my own wheels. Mm. And um, yeah, so I got, I got a car. So mm-hmm. at least that gave me a target for saving. Otherwise, I would have also blown that money. Because no, again, remember, good. I still don't have financial literacy. Mm. Um, yeah, so we had, I had a very good experience in Kikuyu. Mm. I would say it was a holiday camp, quote unquote, mm-hmm. compared to what my, my colleagues were going through in the government hospitals. Mm. And um, the atmosphere was that of teaching. Mm. Yeah. Mm. And everyone, you know, it's a it's a mission hospital, so there's a lot of praying and whatnot. People are generally kind. Mm. So, finished my internship, and then I got posted to Tigoni. Mm. Before going to internship, I forgot. Eh? Uh-huh. And how long was the internship? One year. Oh, okay. All right. Great. Mm-hmm. Before... Yeah. So before going, mm-hmm. so we finished like October, mm-hmm. and were to be posted around January. Mm-hmm. It was during the election to, to 2002, I think. It oh, was yes. Uhuru versus Kibaki. Yes. That's the time for the wave. Yeah. And um, is a can. imagine, mm. I don't think people would even remember that at some point we didn't have we didn't have multi-partism. multi-partism. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So uh, the government delayed, that was Moi's government, mm. in posting us because the, all those salaries are going to campaign. Mm. Mm. So again, we had a three-month yeah. period. Mm. Yeah. And again, I just looked at where can I work. So mm. I was staying with my sister in Langata. Mm-hmm. And I saw a clinic. So mm-hmm. I walked up to the clinic and asked the guy, can I do locums here? Mm. He said, sir. Mm-hmm. So that's how I started working for him mm. for those three months. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's a gynecologist. Mm. So when I was posted now after internship to Tigoni, we got now the new government. Mm. And Gilu had come in. Mm-hmm. As a health As a health minister. minister. Mm-hmm. So she came and said she doesn't have doctors in Kitui. Mm. And mm. we had this uh, director of medical services who came and said, okay. Because those guys had finished much earlier mm. because we never used to take a break. Governments, mm. some people would take like a one week break between mm. rotations. Mm. So came in and revoked all the postings. In mm. Tigoni, I was staying in mm. this nice one bedroom house cobblestone you know it was those uh, white highlands uh, the it was a colonial house right so the main house was the were the owners and then they had a guest wing mm-hmm. so i loved that place mm. because it was in the middle of a tea plantation mm. i told you i'm a farm person mm. Mm. so three we three months into working there mm. he came and revoked all the postings oh, and dear. sent me to kitui oh dear yeah, now Kitui and Tigoni are like two different worlds. Oh. <laughs> Especially that time the roads weren't done. You have to get an Akamba. The Akamba water was issues doing all were that. real. Yes. Mm. You put water in a glass, it would sediment. I mean, salt would sediment. Mm. And those aren't electricity. People aren't building commercial units. Mm. Yeah, so it was very miserable. Mm. And um, But I had to go because mm. you had no option unless you resign. Mm. So that's how I went to Kitui. Mm. So three months in Tigoni, then three months in Kitui. And mm-hmm. that's the maximum number of months I gave to clinical work. Because then I got unwell. Oh dear, while in Kitui? While in Kitui. Mm-hmm. Actually, I got an ectopic pregnancy. I didn't know I was pregnant. Oh. Yeah, I was dating my then um, ex-husband. Mm-hmm. And I was operating on another ectopic, a lady who had an ectopic pregnancy. Oh dear. So I collapsed in theater. What are the chances? Imagine. Mm-hmm. 
and um, they could not mm. um, I could not afford the care that I was giving mm. uh, because I was sent to Kenyatta National Hospital mm. luckily we had ambulances that mm. were working mm. and it's in Kenyatta that they told me this is an ectopic you need to go in for an operation do you have a doctor so I'm like who has a, who has a private doctor as a newly graduated um, doctor anyway I called this guy whom I was working for mm. there's a guy named Mm. and he came so he did the operation mm. and then the bill came to 23,000 shillings that is just hospital bill for three days mm. and the doctors had weighed their fees mm. so when you look at you yourself earning 41,000 gross mm. you can't afford 23,000 is like yeah, it's yeah, it's, more than half yeah. Salary, yeah yeah so I get uh, my family bails me out mm-hmm. and um, I get this shokos letter yeah and at the same time, I get this call from yeah. Dr. Kimani, yeah. the, the doctor I worked for while I was in campus. Yeah. So he gets me this, he tells me there's this opportunity, mm-hmm. it's in Pumwani. Mm-hmm. It's a research opportunity mm-hmm. and it's paying three times more. Mm. It's half day, it's no nights. So I think it wasn't a brainer to, mm. <laughs> to resign. So I resigned, mm. took my letter to the, we call it Mafia House, by the way. Mm-hmm. Because <laughs> that place can be a mafia, so mm. Afia house, mm. and um, yeah, I change. I go to the university, mm. so that's how I did. I ended my clinical career. Mm.